Hello friends and welcome at my channel. I would like to thank everybody for uh, joining my channel. 256 subscribers. This is 2 to the power of 8. So I would like to celebrate those kind of numbers. Uh, this is 256. Thanks for being with me and I hope you'll enjoy it uh, for, well, long, long time to come. Thanks. Hallo Freunde, willkommen auf meinem Channel. Vielen Dank äh, dafür, dass ihr mit mir zusammen auf YouTube seid. 256 Abonnenten, das sind 2 hoch 8. Äh, das ist die 8er Potenz von der 2. Ich freue mich und denke, dass wir noch lange miteinander Spaß haben werden. Привет, дорогие друзья! Большое спасибо за участие в моем YouTube-канале. 2 восьмой степени, 256 абонентов мы собрали. Будем двигаться дальше. Большое спасибо и продолжаем заниматься математикой. All right, now I want to do a video in English language. Those were my kind of three almost native languages, English, German, and Russian. That's the way it is. And I once again thank everybody. And today I would like to, ha uh, to go with you through the introduction to trigonometry. We are working so much with that, and I think it would be nice just to, you know, have some basic ideas. Okay, so one of the key points is the theorem of Pythagoras, which I proved like eight years ago. By the way, eight is so nice because I'm for eight years on YouTube and basically I'm just work like really trying to work for the last two months. So we will see what's going on. And um, so I would like to uh, maybe uh, link also the uh, theorem of Pythagoras that I proved um, uh, in German at this channel. So you'll see it here. This is basically the only thing we know. Something about angles is nice as well, but I think you are familiar with this. So let's give it a go. If we have a unit circle, which looks like this, uh, we are talking about the sine and the cosine values, but what are those values and why is so important? First of all, the name trigonometry, trigonometry is coming from the ancient Greek language Three is three, gonos is an angle, and metron is measure. So it's a kind of science of uh, uh, triangle measurements. And if we're talking about a unit circle, we have one here, one there, minus one here, and minus one there. So everything is pretty fine. And then we are talking about an angle right here. Let's call it gamma. All right. So the thing is, Every point out of these four has its coordinates 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, and 0, minus 1. That's fine. But what about this one? Okay, we're in positive area where the x value is positive and y value is positive as well. But uh, can we be like more precise? Well, it depends. Okay, so um, we can only say, well, this is the x value, this is the y value, and this is a 90 degree angle right here. So what we can say for sure, this is the radius, and the radius is 1 because we are in the unit circle. So x squared plus um, y squared is equal to r squared. This is what we know for sure. All right. So imagine... Uh, like the history is also very important behind mathematics. So what we know is that somehow the Greeks were getting manuscripts from India. Alexander the Great brought m many of them back to Europe. And for the long, long period of time, they were just undiscovered. Nobody cared about that. And many years later, um, p uh, Persian um, scientists, um, discovered that and they were trying to understand what's going on and they were using it as well. So one of the greatest mathematicians for me personally and one of the greatest philosophers as well is Omar Hayam. I hope you heard of his name. He's the creator of the Persian calendar as well. Uh, so he's kind of, well, really, really um, great personality. I think one of the like top five maybe for me compared to Gauss, Da Vinci, Tesla, and maybe Isaac Newton. So um, really, really big personality. Not so many um, articles or attention is 
based on this in Europe or in the United States. So if you're not familiar to this, I'll link um, maybe um, um, well some videos or something like this at this video as well about him. Um, really, and he he also was a writer. He was writing poems. The name of the poems is Rubai, and it's fabulous. Okay. They were uh, discovered, by the way, at the end of the 19th century by the British um, soldiers, uh, and they weren't uh, that much like manipulated through religion or whatever. So that's why it's so brilliant. Okay, I hope you'll enjoy it as well. Okay, so but the story is uh, at some point those um, scientists' discoveries. Scientific discoveries came also to Europe, and in Europe, um, people were um, like not interested that much in the medieval ages um, at the times of Renaissance. It well, uh, the awareness rise a little bit, but still, it wasn't so high as in the um, Arabic countries. And well, people just were looking at manuscripts and were trying to figure out what's going on, actually. Okay, and they saw that at some somehow. It has to do with curves, and one of the hypotheses that we have is like this is the name where the name came from. So sinus is actually curve in Latin, okay? And people didn't know any 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 better um, how to define it, so they called it just sine, okay? So the um, quotient between the opposite uh, the opposite side length, like in this case it's y over the longest, so y divided by r is just being defined as the sine of gamma. And at the same time, the other quotient, so the adjacent, considering the angle divided by the longest, so x divided by r, is the cosine of gamma. All right, so this is, that's it actually, nothing so uh, like special. And what we know, or what we see here, is we are working in the unit circle, so r is 1. That means we are dividing y by 1, which is y, and we are dividing x by 1, which is x. So basically, the sine is y and the cosine is x. And if you look back at our um, Pythagoras theorem right here, that means the cosine squared of uh, gamma plus the sine squared of gamma going to be r squared, which is 1. And this is one of the most important formulas in the whole trigonometry. We call it trigonometrical Pythagoras. All right, so basically at every unit circle, the cosine value is the x value and the sine value is the y value. That's it. And as you can see, the biggest value we can handle, the sine value, is less or equal than 1, it's 1 here and nowhere else, and it's bigger or equal to minus 1. That's the range. And the same is also applicable for the cosine. By the way, the word cosine was actually, the meaning of this is complementi, complementi sine, complementi sinus of gamma, and complementy means added value, like this is the added curve, okay? It's way too long to write it down, so that's why we shortcut it, or the mathematicians shortcut it to cosine of gamma, and this is where cosine is coming from, all right? So thanks for watching. Once again, thank, thank you to everybody um, out of 256 people. Many of uh, those uh, subscribers are my real students. Thank you, guys. Vielen Dank. Spasiba. And I see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.